Uh, hello guys, um, Caleb here. Welcome to um, uh, another video, and today I'm going to be doing yet a, another sneaker collection, right? I've gotten quite a few pairs actually. I'm not spoiled. You could say I'm spoiled. So many, so many people say that I'm spoiled because I have so many shoes. But, I mean, I got some at Christmas. I got some for my birthday, I mean. But I, ha I bought my own pairs too now. And... Yeah. Mm. Other than that, um, I'm gonna, you know, get right into it, you know. Yeah, you know, you know. So anyway, I don't know what these are called. Um, some clunky Nikes with, like, the biggest front ever. Like, things like a black hole. Like, you know. Um, yeah, I whip these out maybe once every month or so. I don't wear them that often. Um, next shoe... I got some Reebok, um, shoot, I don't know what these are called either, I know the names of my shoes now, I bought these about a year ago, um, I couldn't find the other one, you see they're all messed up, um, it's like dirty, but I, I, I wear them outside a lot, you know, um, instead of getting other shoes dirty, I got these 1980s, um, Converse, you know, I've been watching this show, Stranger Things, I've already finished season 1, which is the only season out now. You gotta go watch that show, whoever's watching this video. You, go watch that show, it's on Netflix. It's an exclusive, so it's only on Netflix. Um, It's complicated, but in the 19, it said in the 1980s, and they had like Puma shoes, which I absolutely love Puma. I'm, I'm literally, today or tomorrow, I'm gonna go buy me a pair of Puma. Um, I have, whatever, I don't know the name of these Converse. I know I've said that like for all three shoes so far, but hey now, settle down. I know the names of my shoes. So anyway, I got these. I'm probably going to whip these out on the first day of school. And meet your teacher, which is like four days away. And I got some Air Jordan 13 Flint. See, I know the names of my shoes. Some Flint 13s. Um, Air Jordan 13. It looks so retro. It's like, it, this is the 1996 retro, not the 2007 one. Um, or, did I say retro? It's a 1997 shoe itself. So anyway, um, you know, got the little Air Bubble 23. Jump man. Um, you got some CP3 Chris Paul. Um, CP3 Tropicals. CP38. Chris Paul 3. CP3, which is a symbol. It's a C. Um, well, it's backwards. I don't know if it's backwards. Um, CP38 Tropical. Um, you know, pretty colorful. Um, I have a whole bunch of pink shirts for a church, um, and when I go to church, I usually wear those because they match my pink shirts. I got some, um, let, ah, uh, shoot, I don't know the names of these. They're size 11 and a half, and I'm, like, wearing size 9 and a half. These are my stepdad's, and he only wore them once or twice. The bottom's, like, yellowed a little bit. Other than that, everything else was clean. He bought this shoe in, like, 1995. It's pretty cool. He gave it to me. You know, um, I got some fake Air Jordan 4s, I bought these, I got this deal where this lady was selling good shoes, um, I, she gave me a pair of Air Force 1s, they, they're down there, so, um, for like $35, and she said, oh, I'll just throw on these, these other shoes for free, and, you know, these are part of it. Some fake Air Jordan 4s. I might wear them once or twice, but, you know, flimsy tongue. The only jump man is on the tongue. You gotta stretch that crap. You know, you just stretch. You gotta, you gotta stretch that crap, bruh. Yeah. Uh, some fake Air Jordan 9s. Yeah, they all have that same bottom. Some fake Air Jordan whatever the or not Jordan. Some fake Nikes, whatever these are. Yeah, I got my New Balance Freerunner 605s, um, they're mesh, which is like a regularly ugly, regularly, regularly, which is a, um, like an ugly shoe, I usually hate mesh shoes, but these are like the most, these are like Adidas Ultra Boost, which I need to get, mm. I call these foam posits, I can't believe myself, they're, they're some cheap Nike cleat shoe, you know, um, I actually found these in the back of my closet. 
I don't know how they got there, when they got there, but I found them. I got these for Christmas in 2015. Still remember it like yesterday. Um, uh, some bands. I don't know what bands they are, but they're bands, you know. I got gum. Bro. I hate stepping in gum and shoes because it takes like a year to get off. I got some, um, you know, quick berries. Where's that coming from? Oh, it's beads. Um, so, I got some, you know, berries. Just kidding, just kidding, bro. I actually, um, I was with my uncle one day and he stopped at a yard sale. And these were for a dollar. I cleaned the bottom up, it was super hard. I figured I'd give them to my niece or nephew or somebody when I see them. Um, some bands. With a fancy, like, knitted inside, it's like, granny knitting material. Um, beautiful vans. Um, some Air Force One mid-tops. Um, black and burgundy brown. Brown. Burgundy's more like red. Uh, some toothbrushes. Um, I got some all-white Chuck Taylors. Um... Yeah, everybody knows what those are. Um, I got some, I think these were, were, um, uh, Wiz Khalifa, like a Wiz Khalifa pack or something. Should move lace. See? It's like a blue star, red star. A blue thing and a red thing, it's like opposites. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. It's like a weird tie-dye design on the... The star thing. Um. With some nice gum bottoms. And it's sweet. All my other ones are leather. Um, some. Oh, Jesus, I got a spider in this one. I haven't opened this box in about two months. Um, you know, some all blurred black and white chucks. Mess up box. Some brown and white chucks. You know, these are a size seven and a half. They're too small. Um, they were on sale for like sixty dollars, so I'm gonna probably sell them for like sixty-five. Just get an extra five dollars. I don't want to rip people off too bad. Um, some Jordan Superfly 4 Jacquard, it's like a, uh, a knit material, I don't want to say fly knit, but, you know, it's some knitting, it's supposed, to, it's light, it's lightweight, cost me $175, no, it was $175, um, but I got it on sale for, but I got it on sale for $100, um, I already did those, my Adidas Orion 2's Electro, Color race, you know, um, just a lifestyle shoe, you know, you know, uh, found this box, ouch, shoot, I found this box, it's really good condition, um, I actually found it on the ground outside of my home, just, it just like, phew, it appeared there, or no, I was on vacation, and I was at the pool with my niece and nephew, and then, while well, walking back in the doors from the pool, at our, at our hotel or motel, whatever you call it, um, I actually saw this box right by the dump, the garbage right by the door, not a dumpster, but like a garbage can. Um, um, I think these were like, like, um, what are they? Um, Atwood. Atwood. Rome, or not, I heard somebody on YouTube roaming that one. Atwood Highs, they're suede, it's getting kind of rough. Uh, I think I got these for like $75, and I don't want to call them a beater because I, keep, I try to keep them clean. But the suede's definitely, it's like ripping apart, and it's, it's wearing. Um, these khaki brown, all khaki, and gum bottom shoes. That I decided to draw on. <sighs> um, 
never do that again. You know, I think I'm finna bleach them. Like, put bleach on them so it'll turn back to color. That looks for Christmas. Um, my, when I was first getting in the shoes, um, my, um, parents actually bought me these, and then I drew on them, and I tried to clean it off, but it was rough, you know. Um, down here, I got some vans, you know, I don't know what colorway, but, uh, I'm trying to think of the name, the name of the type of the vans, um, I got some checkerboard. I think these are Chuckalos. Some checkerboards. That, I've never seen a bag like that, and it's not fake. I know it's not fake. I bought it from the band store. Um, old school lows. You know. Um, any other shoes? I have some Levi flip flops and some Levi really like uh flabsy shoes that are like falling apart. Like the 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 soles coming off. Like um these that I found on the back of my closet. Those so you can still rip it apart or whatever. It's cause it was in there for like fifteen years and never worn or something. I don't know. I heard on YouTube or, or on the internet or somewhere that that's what when it happens. Um, but something like that happened, and, you know, um, my other shoes having that issue, my Levi's, but I, I don't know, I bought them used, I don't buy all my stuff used, um, a good amount of my stuff is new, like, these, these are new, like, I love them, you know, um, so yeah, um, I think that's it, yep, um, okay, see you guys later in the next video, um, you enjoyed, um, and have a nice day.